So not too long ago, Reality has released a feature where you can add in your computer streams to your Reality streams through OBS. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do so in cases if you're gaming, presenting a slideshow, presenting live music, etc. Without further ado, let's do this. What you want to do first is to install the Open Broadcaster software, or OBS for short, onto your computer if you haven't already. If you already have OBS Studio installed, disregard this step. Moving forward, now go onto the Reality webpage and log in to your account. Now, once you're logged into your Reality account, scroll down to where it says Game Streaming. We are not going to buy any coins though, just go to Game Streaming. So right here, it will determine if Game Streaming is available for your region. If you're in the United States, Japan, Korea, or Taiwan, then you're in luck. It is also required that you need to be on rank D1 or above to really use this feature. See, my account for example, I'm on rank D1. And the ways that you can actually rank up is to stream often to gain interaction with other people by chatting with your audience while you're streaming, bringing other people into your stream by collabing, or even being gifted onto your streams. You have at least every week to get your streamer rank up and running. And over where I am, which is central time, the daily ranking period resets every morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. Or if time got pushed an hour ahead, then it would reset at 10 a.m. Central Time until the rank period resets weekly on Sunday to determine whenever you'll advance to the next rank or not. So keep that in mind. Now that you understand everything, we're going to go ahead and install the plugin. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to choose Windows Installation and go through the installation process and open up OBS. Once you do, go into Docs and select Reality. That's the plugin. And a whole Reality menu should appear just like this to your right. Now what you wanna do is head to Settings. Then this little pop-up appears where you put in your OBS link token. So what you wanna do is go back to that site Copy the OBS link token that's linked onto your account and paste it and select link account. There, your account is linked. Close out of this, then head back to your mobile device or tablet that you stream reality on and start up a live broadcast like normal. It could be either in rooms or booths, but however, this feature does not work in worlds. So please keep that in mind. Once you started streaming on reality, head back to your PC, hit the stream, and a menu appears. Right there you'll see you have unlimited time for now. Make sure that you're streaming on your name in monetization. Now here's where that comes to play. It's a setting in which where you receive your score when people give to you as normal. But if you have that disabled, then no coins will be distributed from viewers. Instead, it'll say zero instead of how many coins are going to gift. Aside from that, you will not be able to receive any gift score. I'm doing a test stream, so I'm going to leave monetization off for now. And once I'm satisfied with everything, I begin streaming. And this computer display would actually appear in my room or booth that I'm streaming in. You'll also be able to interact with the screen to resize it or change the depth or position, which I find it really cool too. And whenever you select scenes, the OBS would stream it onto your reality stream. So basically, whatever you show on the stream, it shows on reality as well. And here's another feature that I find not only very cool to use, but very swift to use. And it's the web version of the chat. So right here, when you click on show comments, what we'll do is it'll open up a web page where you can actually see the chat up on the big screen, which is very convenient to have. 
there's also a few things that you might want to know. Firstly, whenever you enable or disable monetization for your OBS stream, any gifts from before you started an OBS stream will still count towards your rank score. Secondly, when you or moderator block someone's comments for, let's say, spamming, the reality chat will always update, but the web chat doesn't, however. So just refresh the page and the web chat will show the latest mod activity. And of course, if you want to end your OBS stream, click on end stream. And from there, it'll make the OBS screen disappear, just like that. A couple of more things you must know before streaming and that is to be absolutely careful when streaming certain games as of which the certain game publishers guidelines doesn't allow monetization based on their policies. Refer to the game streaming guidelines on Reality's website along with other said links that will be in the description. One more thing I must add is that you must keep your OBS link token to only yourself and it's not to be shared with others. If anyone gets a hold of your token, other people with OBS could use it to stream some unhinged content onto your streams without warning. So please treat your OBS link token as like a stream key or password. Now overall, I hope this tutorial has helped you out and brings you onto a journey of becoming an OBS slash reality streamer. If you find this tutorial very helpful, then please consider giving it a thumbs up to help beat the algorithm. Also subscribe and turn on post notifications as well, and check out the peeps that were featured while making this video. Any questions? Comment below. That's all, Raz out. Take care.